Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown. I'm Matthew Peterson. Before we give you some surprise cut candidates for the Broncos roster, I just want to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe right now. We're going to give you great Broncos content all season long. Really simple. Just go down, bring your mouse over that red subscribe button. Make it gray so you can get the best Broncos news, rumors, and everything in between going into the 2021 NFL regular season. Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown. I'm Matthew Peterson, and today we're going to go over some surprise potential cut candidates. Before you get the pitchforks out, it's surprise, okay? Meaning possible, maybe, unlikely, somewhat likely. I don't know. You can fill in the blank, but don't come at me saying, you fool, how dare you? They're surprised. They're potential. I don't know. You guys can fill in the adjective, play your own Mad Lib. But we got some surprise roster cuts maybe coming your way. And we're going to kick things off on the offensive line with Cameron Fleming, okay? Played last season, 16 games, six sacks allowed, and didn't do enough to guarantee himself a spot on the roster. So what did the uh, Broncos do? They went out and got competition. They brought in Bobby Massey from the Chicago Bears during free agency, and they picked up Calvin Anderson as well. Uh, they, sorry, um, they got Calvin Anderson to also add in some more competition. So you check out this offensive line depth chart, and what I'm looking at is that right tackle spot. I've got Massey right now as the starter right behind him and splitting the second string role, potentially Calvin Anderson, which just doesn't leave a ton of room for Fleming. I think between Massey and Anderson, whoever doesn't get that starting role will be the swing tackle. And all of a sudden, Fleming is on the outside looking in. So that puts him as a surprise roster cut. We'll see if it happens. Overall, the Broncos have a fantastic offensive line, of course. So... They've got some, maybe some way, um, they've got some room. They may want to put some extra roster spots elsewhere where they don't have as much depth. But you let me know. You decide, okay? Who's going to be that starting right tackle? Will it be Calvin Anderson, Bobby Massey, or Cam Fleming? It sure indeed looks like Calvin Anderson or Bobby Massey, but maybe Cam Fleming is watching this and wants to put his own name in the hat. Go down to the comments, let me know. C-A for Anderson, B-M for Massey, or C-F for Fleming for that starting right tackle spot come week one against the Giants. Next surprise it cut is going to be Tyree Cleveland. Why? Because this is a loaded Loaded, loaded, loaded. This is like you don't, you know, bad loaded. Um, wide receiver room for the Denver Broncos. Look at the roster right here, okay? Top four guys, roster locks. I think the Broncos will take on seven wide receivers on this roster. Maybe eight, but I just don't see it happening. So I've got room for three more. And I'm looking at Deontay Spencer, Tyree Cleveland, Seth Williams, Trinity Benson, and Kendall Hinton, okay? Mac got cut, so he's off there. So of those five guys, I've got three roses to hand out, and maybe Tyree Cleveland just doesn't claim one because he's kind of been outshined in preseason, but he does enter his second season. He's great on special teams, but he will land on a surprise roster cut list today. Broncos fans, we're brought to you guys partially in part by BetUS. There's some great folks over there who've got a great deal for you guys. All you've got to do is go to the link down below, chatsports.com slash bet, right? Then you go ahead and use the promo code Broncos125. And what is that going to do? It's going to give you a 125% deposit bonus. It's an excellent deal. You put 100 bucks in, say, they're going to make it 225 Go blow it on the Broncos' money line week one against the G-Men because you know Daniel Jones is going to be coughing that up all the time, handing the ball off to the Broncos and not the Giants. He loves to fumble, and Von Miller and Bradley Chubb will be chasing him down. So go ahead, subscribe. Uh, go ahead to BetUS. Use the link down below and the promo code. Have to use both to get that 125% deposit bonus. The biggest surprise roster cut. I don't think this is gonna happen, but I wouldn't be overly blown away if it did. Bryce Callahan signed him two years ago to a three-year contract. He's entering his final season in that contract and. 
Patrick Sertain, the ninth overall pick in the draft. He's kind of working ahead of schedule. What do I mean by that? He's entering this depth chart as the number four cornerback, but all of a sudden he's making enough room maybe to pass Callahan. And with that being said, where does Callahan find himself? Well, a really expensive bench player, that's what he would be. If the Broncos did cut him, it would save him about $7 million against the cap. So it just makes not a, not a ton of sense or really a lot of sense, but it doesn't make it makes enough sense that maybe the Broncos would look into this going, hey, do we really want to pay Callahan that much if he's going to sit behind Darby, Fuller, and Sertan? Probably not, although I don't think this was going to happen. I do not. I think they're going to keep all four of those guys and just form one of the best defenses in the NFL, especially in the secondary. But since Callahan has come to Denver, first season back in 2019, he missed every single game uh, going down on IR early on. And then last year played in 10 games. So he's missed a lot of time. Hat surely has not lived up to the contract because he hasn't been able to be on the field. And when he's on the field, he's great. There's no doubt about it. And that's why he's number three on the depth chart right here. And Sertan is number four behind him. But PS2, if we what we've seen in the preseason, if that translates to the regular season, man, he's going to fly up this depth chart. So that's why we're just going to put a little feeler on this one. But you guys, go ahead. Be the GM. Be George. Would you trade Bryce Callahan? Type T for trade or type P for pass. Personally, pass, okay? Not interested. Definitely not cut, okay, uh, if I'm GM. But it wouldn't blow me away. That's why he's on there. But maybe a trade if you get enough good options back. I'm not sure, but it's worth looking at. All right, final surprise cut candidate. This is the... Seventh round draft pick out of the 2020 NFL Draft, an FCS champ out of North Dakota State. I'm talking about Derek Tushka, okay? He played a lot of special teams last year when he was on the active roster. He kind of floated in between practice squad and active roster, coming up and down in the beginning stages a little bit, eventually landed on IR, and now he lands himself in a tough linebacker death chart battle, okay? Top four spots locked uh, roster locks, okay? Then I'm looking at the next couple guys. Reed and Mincy, right behind Von Miller, they've been standout guys so far in preseason and training camp. They turned a lot of heads, okay? Now I'm looking over at uh, Watson got cut, so he's out of there. Cooper's been great so far. Another seventh-round draft pick. Talk about Robinson as well, Stranad. There's just a lot of competition at this linebacker core right now for the Broncos, so I just don't see a guy... Having a, a guy in Tushka having room in this year's roster like last year. But who is it overall? Who do you think is the most underrated player on this Broncos team? I know you guys keep up with the Broncos a ton because you're watching them in the preseason. You're not just a fair weather guy who shows up come September. No, 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 no. Real Broncos fans are here for rookie minicamp all the way until the first week of the regular season. So go ahead, hop down in the comments. Let me know who you think the most underra underrated player on this team is. Personally, for me, I'm looking at that wide receiver spot, okay? Jerry Judy, breakout sophomore year is coming up. I don't even know if you call him underrated, but he's definitely underrated in the NFL. And so that's why I'm thinking overall, maybe the most underrated player on this team. Keep an eye on him and definitely look at him when you're drafting your fantasy team this year.